Hello and welcome back to Lost in Livy. I'm Donald. Now the video that I've got for you today requires a wee bit of a story to connect me with the video itself. You'll recall if you've looked at any of my other videos that I refer sometimes to the Spokes, West Lothian and Livingston cycle map. Now when I retired a couple of years ago, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to spend a bit of time on my bike exploring my local area. Now I knew about the existence of this map, but I just didn't know where to get it. And so it sent me off on a wee search. None of the local bike shops seemed to, seemed to stock it, but eventually I found my way to the West Lothian Bike Library, where not only did they not stock it, they had what you could call a shed load of these bike maps. And so I was able to get my bike map. However, while I was there, I got kind of intrigued as to just what the bike li West Lothian Bike Library was and is, um, what they did, what they were about. Probably the quickest and easiest way is to read a wee bit straight off their website. Um, so I'll just read this out. West Lothian Bike Library is a not-for-profit community interest company. We help people to get active and connected through cycling and associated activity. We aim to tackle inequalities in health by making cycling an activity for all, regardless of background, income or ability. Our projects and activities aim to improve health and increase independence, confidence, employability and skills. Where cost is a barrier to cycling, we donate and or loan free of charge recycled bikes to those in need. We offer low-cost repairs and sales of recycled bikes, meaning more people can own a bike and keep it on the road cheaply, whilst raising funds to enable us to donate services to those who need them. That's just a wee brief scenario that the Bike Library itself wrote on their website, and I'll put a link down below to, to their website. You can learn more, learn where they are and where to, how to get in touch. I was intrigued when I got the, when I picked up my map because when I was there the garage was open and there were a couple of mechanics working on bikes and one of the bikes that was there was actually a tricycle and it had two seats on it side by side. Really uh, quite an incredible machine, quite a unique machine. And I learned that this is one of several quite unique adaptive bikes for people who have ability issues, who, who have assistance needs. So I was quite interested. A couple of weeks later, I found myself back at the bike library, this time with a with an apron on and helping out in the garage as a mechanic. I've tinkered away with bikes since I was a kid. I built my own bike as an, in my early teens and cycled around Scotland and Ireland on it. And I've tinkered with bikes all my life, so I reckoned I was pretty handy with a spanner. I'm still a, I'm still a volunteer with the West Lothian Bike Library. But in the couple of years or so since then, I've uh, been put through various training courses. Uh, I'm now a certificated qualified bike mechanic and a lead ride leader, and I enjoy every bit of it. We have a whole range of activities uh, supporting uh, this act, uh, cycling as an activity for all in the community. And recently we've been thinking about how we turn up to some of those activities, uh, going to local schools, doing bike ability lessons or uh, doctor bike sessions, and how we respond to people offering us bikes as a donation um, when they themselves don't have a means of getting it to us, getting the bike to us. And so we've been looking at cargo bikes. In the last month or so, we finally took delivery of the cargo bike that we hope will do us. It's a Tern GSD cargo bike and attached to it is a Carla cargo trailer, a flatbed trailer capable, we reckon, of holding probably four adult bikes. And it's the sort of thing that we plan to use going out to school that will carry a gazebo, work stands, tools, a couple of spare bikes. But we've also, as I say, in response to somebody phoning us up and saying, I've got a bike, it's still serviceable, but we don't use it anymore, it's not wanted, can you use it? Instead of turning up in a, in a hired van to pick up a bike, uh, we decided we, we've got this cargo bike now. So the video that follows is, uh, is just a little record of me taking out the uh, cargo bike and trailer 
across the other side of Livingston to pick up this bike and uh, back again along the paths showing maybe some of the the difficulties of negotiating a four and a half five meter long uh, unit uh, through some of the barriers which are now 50 or 60 years old in Livingston and haven't been updated to modern standards. I hope you enjoy it. it, the story of a collection of a donated bike and delivery to the West Lothian Bike Library. I'll put some links uh, down below, down below, uh, to the West Lothian Bike Library's um, website and uh, if you are local and you have a bike that you think might be of use that you could donate to us, get in touch with us using the link below. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Join me again. Ride with me again. Lost in Livy.